Hi friends, once again back to biologyexamsforyou.com. In the last video, we discussed about the four stages that is involved in the light dependent reaction of photosynthesis. Now we are moving into light independent reaction of photosynthesis or dark reaction or Calvin cycle. A short summary along with the most important question that is the ATP and NADPH used per glucose molecule synthesized. We will be discussing these steps carbon fixation, reduction, glucose synthesis. RUBP regeneration, major enzymes involved and the ATP and NADPH used per glucose molecule. This Calvin cycle is also called as C3 cycle, calvin benson Basham cycle or CBP cycle and also reductive pentose phosphate cycle. So this is an equation of photosynthesis. 6 carbon dioxide combines with 12 molecules of water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll forming glucose oxygen. So in photosynthesis during light reaction that occurs in the cranum or thylakoid membrane, ATP and NADPH is formed or light energy is converted to chemical energy in the form of ATP and NADPH in light reaction. Calvin cycle occurs in the stromal region. In Calvin cycle, carbon dioxide is converted to glucose or C6H12O6 using the energy that is synthesized in the light reaction and that is the Calvin cycle. So let us discuss Calvin cycle in detail. This is a step one that is carbon fixation. Initial substrate is ribulose biphosphate which is a 5 carbon compound with 2 phosphate group ribulose biphosphate. We are using this equation 6 carbon dioxide. 6 carbon dioxide reacts with 6 RUBP. In the presence of enzyme Rubisco, ribulose biphosphate carboxylase oxygenase. This is having carbon dioxide addition activity. That's why it is called as carboxylase. And the number of carbon is 36 carbon. This is very important for understanding the concept. So RUVP is having 5 carbon. So 6 into 5, 30 plus 6 carbon from carbon dioxide. Total 36 carbon forming a short-lived intermediate compound and later forming the first stable compound which is 3-phosphoglycerate or 3-phosphoglyceric acid. So 36 carbon molecule forming a 3 carbon compound by 3 it should be 12-3-phosphoglycerate. So this is a first step. The first stable compound formed in Calvin cycle is 3-phosphoglycerate that is why this cycle is called as C. So now we have 12-3-phosphoglycerate. In the next step, this 3-phosphoglycerate is converted to 1,3-biphosphoglycerate. A phosphate, another phosphate group is added. Here there is single phosphate group, another phosphate group is added. For addition of phosphate group, ATP is required. 12 ATP is utilized, ATP is converted to ADP and PI and that phosphate is joined to this phosphoglycerate forming 1,3-biphosphoglycerate. And the enzyme involved is kinase. Whenever there is addition of phosphate group, the enzyme involved is kinase. So 12 ATP is used in this process, in this step. In the next step, 1,3-biphosphoglycerate is converted to glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Acid is converted to aldehyde. This is a reduction step. NADPH that is synthesized in the light reaction is utilized and is converted to NADP+. And the enzyme involved is dehydrogenase. Whenever there is a reduction reaction, the enzyme involved is dehydrogenase with the name of the substrate. That is a 3-carbon compound, therefore called as triose phosphate. Here 12 NADPH is utilized for forming 12 molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. And this phase is called as a reduction phase. Or step 2 is a reduction where 1,3-biphosphoglycerate is converted to glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Now we have 12 glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate molecule out of which 2 molecule of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is required for the synthesis of 1 molecule of glucose as glucose is a C6 compound, 6 carbon compound. So 2 molecule of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, 3 carbon compound is joined to form a 6 carbon compound which is a glucose C6H12O6. So out of 12, 2 molecule of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is utilized for the synthesis of glucose. 
Now we have 10 molecules of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. This 10 molecules in 10 into 3, 30 carbon that will be regenerated to form RUBP. So RUBP is a 5 carbon compound, therefore, 30 carbon by 5 it will form 6 RUBP molecule. And this step is called as regeneration step. There are many intermediate steps we are actually skipping that all that reactions. During this process, ATP is required for regeneration. Six molecules of RUBP is formed, therefore, six ATP is required, six ATP is converted to six ADP. And in the regeneration stage, six ATP is used. So this is Calvin cycle. Now we have the starting substrate that is six molecule of RUBP. So let's see how much ATP and NADPH is used in the process. So during the reduction stage, 12 ATP is utilized and during the regeneration step, 6 ATP is utilized. Total 18 ATP is utilized per glucose molecule. Regarding NADPH, during the reduction stage, 12 NADPH is used and the total 12 NADPH is used per glucose molecule. So Calvin cycle is simply the conversion of carbon dioxide into glucose using the energy that is synthesized in the light dependent reaction that is ATP and NADPH. And that's it. Hope things are clear. You are fit biology exams for you.com.